A former Northeast Ohio religious leader is facing identity theft and wire fraud charges. He's accused of stealing tens of thousands in dollars in federal public assistance programs. Fouad Abdul Qadir used to lead one of Northeast Ohio's largest Islamic centers, but we learned tonight he was fired before allegedly committing those crimes. According to the Department of Justice, 42-year-old Fouad Abdul Qadir is facing a 52-count indictment, charged with stealing more than $80,000 in public assistance benefits, claiming he also forged signatures on those forms. Court documents show he began filing for Medicaid and SNAP benefits around 2016. But at that time, he worked at an unidentified religious center in Parma, receiving a yearly salary, health insurance, and bonuses. But just before Abdul Qadir's alleged scheme began, he served as the imam for the Islamic Center of Cleveland. A good imam is a role model. It's someone who treats people well, who takes criticism well, who's able to offer spiritual guidance to people, who's able to be there during hard times and good times. Zayad Taya, the current president of the center, says Abdul Qadir was strictly a religious leader. I think what's important to understand is that the imam did not have any involvement in the activities of the mosque. He didn't have anything to do with the planning or anything to do with financial matters whatsoever. In 2016, the Islamic Center of Cleveland fired Abdul Qadir and served him with a temporary restraining order after, according to court documents, he trespassed, promoted division, and threatened civil unrest. All the allegations related to his financial crimes were after his employment ended with the Islamic Center. Taya says the center and its hundreds of members is a community filled with loving people and says the charges against Abdul Qadir have nothing to do with them. Even to the extent these allegations are true, uh, obviously they shouldn't be associated with our center or Muslims at large. There are bad apples in every religion, not to say that he is a bad apple, uh, but just to say that uh, no one has the right to paint an entire community with their own brush. Reporting for News 5, I'm Jesse Schultz. Abdul Qadir had an initial appearance today. He's out on $20,000 bond. The next court date has not yet been set.